So, hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthlings 645546-3728. And I wonder if it makes sense to do anything. I mean, anything at all. And the reason why I say that is because of the second law of thermodynamics, which I believe says that the entropy in any given system always increases. And that means the amount of disorder or lack of a temperature gradient or energy gradient is always increasing. The amount of disorder is always increasing. The amount, the lack of a temperature gradient. So for example, one place is cold and another place is hot. The difference, the disparity between that is always going down. So for example, um, ever since the Big Bang, and ever since space increasing, um, energy wants to spread itself out everywhere. And all of the molecules and, and all of the particles of matter want to spread themselves out evenly everywhere. Um, of course, not with respect to black holes, but that's a different thing. But um, so what does that mean with respect to us? And, and everything that we do makes the world a worse place. Well, think of it like, okay, if you have six or eight billion people on a planet and they would all like to be able to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, they would all like to have you know, the temperature controlled, as in with respect to AC, in the summer and with respect to um, uh, heating in the winter. Doing anything um, takes energy. Every time you use energy, there's like a tax. So for example, you put a certain amount of gasoline into your car. You're not going to be able to use 100% of that energy in order to get to where you're going. There's a tax that says most of that energy is just wasted. A small part of it is going to get you to where you want to go. Um, so what that means is because of the law of, ent of entropy and second law of thermodynamics, every single thing that we do puts out, spreads energy, whether in the form of heat or light or whatever it is, energy is just spreading out into the universe. The problem is that energy creates disorder, it creates chaos. But we need food, we need breakfast, we need lunch, we need dinner, we need the temperature to be within a particular range all of the time, otherwise we're going to die, we're going to burn up, or we're going to freeze. So we need order, but the more order we try to create, the more CO2 is out in the atmosphere, the more pollution, whether it is noise pollution, light pollution, um, regular substance pollution, is just put out into the environment. And the more that we want to be comfortable, and the more energy that we use to achieve that, it means the more um, we have to fight against the chaos that we've put out into the environment, right? I mean, there are certain cycles in nature. Uh, there's a carbon cycle. I don't know. I think maybe there might be a nitrogen cycle. There might be all of these different cycles. But those cycles have evolved without us contributing to them contributing to them and anything that we do is normally in excess of what these cycles have uh, set up and uh, unfortunately it compounds so there's a co2 co um, cycle but with us putting out all this extra co2 from oil and from coal we are putting out more than the system was let's call it designed to handle and over 
thousands and thousands of years, over hundreds and hundreds of years with respect to industrial development, we have screwed that up. And in order to compensate for how we have screwed it up, we need to use more and more energy. Sooner or later, of course, those two lines of the graph are going to um, cut over each other and the amount of energy that it takes to maintain the stability of our environment is going to exceed um, what we either are capable of putting out or what would make the environment stable. We're just not going to have enough energy or it's going to be, it's not going to make any difference how much energy we use. And, you know, whether that is with respect to um, equality, let's say income equality, whether that is with respect to, let's say, racism, uh, because you or I or anybody could devote our, our lives to some kind of income equality or racial equality or gender equality or sexual equality or anything along those lines and we could give talks all over the world and we could uh, fly by plane and um, you know use computer systems to to uh, reproduce that so everybody's in line with that and, and believes that but the more we do the more we create chaos and it hastens the, the point at which we're just not going to be able to um, survive, period. I don't know that I'm, I'm putting this in the best way. Sometimes I listen to these things and afterwards, you know, I feel really like, oh God, you screwed this up, you messed this up, you didn't make sense. And then I listen to it after and I'm like, no, that was okay. I really don't feel like that right now. But I think that's the case. I think we can't beat physics, the laws of physics. And this is a law of physics that says, you know, chaos is king. Chaos will eventually outrun us all. And, you know, you could look at the difference between those uh, stars that form black holes or um, white dwarfs like our sun is going to be and the bigger the sun the brighter it shines the smaller the sun the dimmer it shines but the longer it shines and if you look back to how long unicellular life existed I think it was billions of years I don't think that multicellular life has existed for even one billion years. I have to check, but I don't think it's even one billion years yet. And I think that um, we look at it as an advancement to be more complex and more complicated. And I think that it isn't any more than it is for a star to be, you know, hundreds of stellar masses and by stellar I mean our sun's masses and then when within a couple of million years it's just it's gone whereas you might have these red dwarfs that don't really shine that brightly but they last for billions if not trillions of years so yeah anyway I just wanted to put that out there don't know how long I've been talking it says nine minutes 30 seconds now so um i think i'm going to do some more on this i don't know that i i'm hitting all the points that i want to hit but um i'm really hot because i turn off all the fans in order to reduce the noise and uh that's it for me thanks peace <laughs>